You know what I really don't understand? Is how after 22 years, this is still the greatest video game movie ever made. How does that happen? Alright people, time to talk some Assassin's Creed. Well, it's Christmas time, and if you wished for a good video game movie, apparently you were naughty this year, because Assassin's Creed is yet again another wasted opportunity, another boring, ridiculous attempt to translate such a great video game story onto the screen. You have all the pieces in front of you. I feel like it should be so easy to make one of these nowadays, but yet again, we are disappointed as fans. Assassin's Creed tells the story of Callum Lynch, played by Michael Fassbender. He's a death row inmate. He gets lethally injected, wakes up into some company. They tell him basically, you're going to get in this machine, you're going to visit the past, and you're going to tell us where this Apple of Eden is. That's the basic outline of the movie. I'm not going to get any deeper than that, because the movie doesn't get any deeper than that. Your two main villains are played by Jeremy Irons, who spends the whole movie just looking around at people and staring, and Marion Cotillard, who's a phenomenal actress, giving one of the most robotic, performances that she has ever given. This machine is called the Animus. You will go inside and access the memories of your ancestor. You must truly want to use the machine through your own free will. Really? I will start off with the positives because there are a few positives about this movie. One, they really do nail the look of the acrobatics and the parkour and the fighting style of the characters that you play in the Assassin's Creed game. Whenever they're doing the action scenes and they're running and they're fighting, they're jumping around, leaping around, flipping around, doing the leap of faith, all of that looks great. Until the editing guy decides to continuously break apart the action scene to show Michael Fassbender in the present jumping around in this little machine with a hologram around him and it totally kills the pace of the action scene. They should have done that the first action scene just to display that yeah whenever he's in this machine everybody around him can see what he's doing and he's reenacting these movements that he did in the past. Show it once, we understand. We're not idiots. You don't have to completely do that the entire movie and kill all momentum of your action scenes because so many action scenes, it looks cool and he's about to strike somebody and then it cuts to the present and Michael Fassbender punches a hologram and then he moves again and you're back in the past and then they go to do a flip. Even when they do the leap of faith, which is a pretty cool shot and they made such a big deal in the lead up to this movie that, hey, we got a real guy to do that. That's not CGI and it's so polished. It's so just erased that it looks like a digital effect and even when he's about to land, pretty much climax of that shot that really tells you, wow, they actually got a guy to do that, they cut to him in the machine hitting the floor. Ooh. The other small positive in this is that Michael Fassbender really is trying. He's honestly the reason that a lot of us had faith for this movie because he's a producer on it, he's been attached to it for so long, and he really is the only actor in this movie that looks like he gives a shit. The scene where he's actually getting lethally injected where he slowly starts going from this hardened criminal who doesn't care, doesn't even really want to let you know that he's worried about this, to slowly breaking down and crying because he's like, oh shit, I'm about to die. That was a really good scene. And he has some more good scenes like that, but he's just completely wasted in this movie. Now as far as the bad, aside from the stuff that I've already talked about and already alluded to, they really screw up the story of this movie. They are so easily could have just pulled a story from the first Assassin's Creed game, or even the second one, which is honestly the best one, and they could have translated that right to screen and it would have worked out fine, but instead they try to do like a little mishmash of the, the lore and they try to create a new character. They totally screw up the motivations of both sides of the coin, the Assassins and the Templars, to the point where you really don't even know what side you're on in this movie. They show you that, okay, the Templars, their motivation is they want to get this Apple of Eden because they can control free will and they can get rid of violence in the world, but they might have to kill a few people to get there. And then you go, okay, well, what's the Assassin's motivation? Oh, they want to get the Eden so that the Templars don't get it. Well, what are they going to do with it? Uh, they just they just don't want the Templars to get it because the Templars want it. So we got to take it because I don't want them to get it. They don't even really do a good enough job at showing how evil the Templars are. They make it very clear in a video game that they're the bad guys, but you watch this movie and the only people really doing violent things and killing anybody is the Assassins. So unless you've seen the games before or you really buy into the fact that this movie wants you to be on the Assassin's side, 
you're like, I don't know who I want to root for in this. You both seem like you suck. Not only that, there's so many things in the story that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. You know, they have Michael Fassbender, and the entire movie, he's this take no shit, I don't care about anybody, I'm not doing anything to help anyone, you're just going to have to make me do all this stuff. Until the end, all of a sudden, he has this little transition of mind, and now I want to be a hero, and I'm going to take on the Templars, and it's so sudden, and there's no real motivation that gives him that that growth as a character. You don't buy into it at all unless you just shut your brain off. The segments in the past, which is traditionally the more important and more interesting part of the games, is basically an after effect in this movie. They put all their focus on story and emotion in the present day characters, but they don't really give any characters that you like. The characters in the past, honestly, I can't even tell you their names. I can't tell you their motivations. I can't tell you their personality. They just look like the present day characters. They do some cool moves, that's about it. Let's talk about the way that the villains have this Abstergo place set up. So they've exhausted all options to find this Apple of Eden. They discover that Michael Fassbender's character, Callum Lynch, is the last remaining person that they can get to find this Apple of Eden because his ancestor is the one that actually hid it away. And yet they keep all the other assassins that they've already trained and they've already had in this animus machine ad nauseum where they've learned all these skills, they've all gotten stronger, they've all gotten this assassin mentality, they just keep them around in general population so that they can constantly tell Michael Fassbender, hey man, don't you be getting that animus? That's gotta be the dumbest villain plot I've ever seen in a movie. No wonder that shit didn't work out for you. I'm not gonna talk about this movie any longer because most of us knew what we were getting into because this is what we get into with every single video game movie that's ever been made for the most part. It really sucks if you're a video game fan because there are so many great stories and great character arcs and great worlds and universes that you really want to see brought to the screen, but you know the biggest blockbusters are waiting for somebody to break the mold. People thought that Warcraft was gonna do it, didn't happen. Then Assassin's Creed was our saving grace, failed even worse than Warcraft did. So those of us that want to see The Last of Us, Metal Gear Solid, Uncharted, Halo, it's going to be a long time. It's going to be a long time. You need somebody to come in, almost like Kevin Feige did with the Marvel Universe, and make people take this shit seriously. Because Hollywood obviously does not take video game movies seriously. They think it's going to be a recognizable property. It's going to make them a couple hundred million dollars over the box office weekend. And then they can just shove it in the shelves and forget it ever existed. So to wrap this up, guys, Assassin's Creed, yet again, is another lazy, tired, unmotivated, uninspired video game adaptation that was made for a quick buck. And unfortunately, yet again, us video game fans are going to have to wait for some game to come along to be adapted to do a movie to break the mold and show everybody what these movies can do. Badly written characters, badly written story, and really good action scenes that get muddled in the editing room leads Assassin's Creed to be an experience that I say you should absolutely skip it. So what did you guys think of Assassin's Creed? Did you enjoy this? Is this among the better video game movies out there? Not that that's saying much. What movie do you think is going to actually break the mold for video game movies? Or is it ever going to happen? Is this, are these movies ever going to be taken seriously? Is people ever going to put some actual inspiration into these movies? Put all that down in the comment section below and let's talk about it. Please like and share this video and hit that subscribe button. That way you get to come back and see me next time. But if that's not soon enough to check out some more of my videos, you can check out a few more by clicking right over here.